going on, on YouTube. Got another update going on, as you can see. Uh, the Hydra setup is now elevated. I popped it up uh, a little bit high there. Got 16 inches right here by this tomato. I've got 9 inches right there on that corner, 8 inches at that corner. This is height. Uh, right there, I've got 4 inches, 3 inches on the other side, down to zero. Over there, and it just runs right back into the tub. And as you can see, I've got some dripping going on. Not a big deal. But uh, uh, just right before I made this video, I pulled all of these guys out and uh, washed them off real good. Had a little bit of algae growth going on inside there. Uh, plus the root mass. I mean, guys like this one right here, I'm not even going to try to get him the whole way out because I don't think I can get the roots back in. So I didn't try on that one. Um, but I pulled everybody out, cleaned them off real good, flushed the tube. So we've got a decent amount of water flow going through there right now. I uh, pulled all of them out, like all these cups are sticking up a little bit there. Uh, those last ones aren't, but these next ones are. And you can see I pulled most of them right on out. Um, that's just to like, get a little bit more water flow going. Got a little drip underneath that one, which really isn't coming from there. If you look, it's actually coming from this third one down. And uh, that's where it's leaking. That's why I put this zip tie in there. Um, and you can see a bunch of it is actually just diverting the water straight down. Um, maybe I'll add another zip tie to try to catch the rest. Or I'm just going to slow down the water. Uh, that way that is not leaking overnight. I don't want that leaking even though it's going onto the tarp and pretty much coming back in. I got some little tiny bit of splash out going on over there. And I want to make sure that that gets fixed. In the tub here, you can see that the water level is up a little bit, uh, flushing out the tube and uh, cleaning everything else. Uh, added a little bit more water to it, so we got the water level up a little bit. Uh, normally, right there, that white pipe that you can see right there, um, I normally like it to be about uh, that pipe to be submerged. That's usually my uh, water level indicator, so we're right below that about, I don't know, about an inch or so. Um, so hopefully we get a couple more good rainfalls and that will go ahead and fill it up the rest of the way. As far as the plumbing goes, did a little bit more re-plumbing again. Added that shut off. Look right here, this one on this side. And uh, that's just to regulate the pressure. And the reason I did that was I moved the uh, setup. As you can see right over here, right on the other side of this uh, shut off valve is a T. And then right there, there was another T where the black funny pipe went and fed the hydra setup. If you look right about here, I took out uh, at a coupler right there. I took that coupler out, put a T in, plumbed in the uh, funny pipe uh, before this shut off right there. The reason I did that was that is uh, the maximum force coming off the pump, that line, and it's nice and low before it goes up to that 90 where it has a shutoff valve right there. So with that shut off, new shutoff valve I have up there, that will actually back up pressure to the bottom line, which is going to the two beds and the funny pipe. And like I said, the black funny pipe is on the pump side, not on the shutoff side. So <laughs> the shutoff there actually regulates how much water is going into the two beds um, and the uh, the funny pipe there just gets full force because if you remember my last videos I've got a shut off here so I can regulate the pressure right here I've been trimming up these tomatoes pretty good and uh, they're all looking nice and pretty uh, the tomatoes are really loving the hydra setup. Uh, some of these other veggies, I can't believe the Brussels aren't really doing anything. They haven't done anything. I've never really had any Brussels do anything here, to be perfectly honest. Not just in this setup, my dirt garden as well. I still have one over there, and they're actually smaller in my dirt garden than these ones. If you look right over there, you can see my holy Brussels sprout. I got another one way over there. Uh, got a little bit of bug problem going on. I'm guessing those two guys probably won't be here next update. I'll probably go ahead and remove that. And then I'll have open spaces there and figure out what I want to plant in there. Strawberry over there, if you can see that. It's looking really good, both of them. And there's two little peppers over there. I swear the same size. They've grown a little bit, but... And every single one of these, I've trimmed off the bottom leaves, uh, one or two uh, branches or uh, sets of leaves, just to promote more growth up top. But overall, it's still going. If you look in here, you can see more flowers popping up, more strawberries popping up. Everybody's just loving it. 
Um, <laughs> excellent growth. Got a little bit of yellowing, but it's like flower or leaves that are way down low. The yellowing that I see in here, that's pretty much from uh, the leaves that aren't even getting any sunlight. Uh, but overall, these guys are doing pretty darn good. Still fruiting. <laughs> My peppers that are over here by the strawberries, they're pretty much uh, holding strong. Gotten a lot taller, Got a little bit of yellowing of the leaves. But I believe right after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna be adding a little bit of uh, fish fertilizer right into the biofilter and uh, let it go ahead and do its thing. And right back over here to this bed. We've got our uh, peppers over here. They've been doing pretty good. Just a little bit of yellowing of the leaves. Uh, trimmed all of these guys back as well. Didn't trim anything off of the watermelon. They've been growing very slow, but like I said in the last video, they probably were stunted. So I'm thinking probably two weeks of uh, stunt. And then uh, they're probably going to start growing. Uh, the tomatoes are looking nice and tall. They're actually very good. And uh, I've been trimming a bunch of the leaves off. We've got a few uh, flowers right there. And every all of them are flowering. And pretty much trying to put off some fruit. And since I'm back over here, I'm going to check out my tomatoes. These guys, they're all popped out like that. Um, not because they did that. I pulled them out just to uh, allow the water flow to go. Uh, probably a better design than uh, two inch cups and two inch pipe. Probably would have been three inch cups and three inch pipe. Or better yet would be uh, probably uh, three inch cups and four inch pipe. And cut the uh, holes a little bit uh, small. That way you could uh, just put them in and the lips of the cup will hold on at the very top of the pipe and allow the water to uh, flow underneath the plants and allow the roots to go out towards the water. But uh, I guess I'll have to try that one on uh, the next time I do another hydro setup. But that's the quick update that I got for you this week. Um, got a couple more things I need to do. I want to uh, go ahead and flush out this tube a little bit more and uh, get the water level uh, or the amount of water going into it down a little bit so we don't have all this dripping that's going on and uh, and if I do have some dripping I want to divert it some more like with that zip tie there and uh, make it so it's not dripping right over here like that because that's just a little bit too much water for me and after the last leak which dropped it about a foot I don't think I want to have that kind of uh, problems anymore I have uh, one more thing I added in here was this little sucker right there and I know I say sucker a lot in videos but that literally is a sucker just like this sucker right here we've got the main branch uh, coming off right here and this guy coming off right uh, in between is its own independent plant and that's called a sucker and actually I'm gonna cut this guy off and put him in the uh, garden as well and see if we can actually make him grow none of the suckers I've tried this year actually grew but uh, not that it matters to me because they're just cuttings that I have to cut anyway and I just toss them in the bed here and uh, see what they can do. This one was about half the size of this guy. So as you can see, that's about that tall. That guy was probably about that tall, but I stuck them pretty far down in there so hopefully the roots will take place or it's just gonna die in another day like they normally do. So I'm gonna cut that one and put that one in there as well. Okay, and now that guy is in there. So, we'll see what happens. It's either gonna live or die. Either way, everything's an experiment with this thing, so <laughs> that's why I love trying these out every once in a while. All right, well that's about all I got growing on this week. I uh, got a couple more changes I wanna do, add a few more things. I've got this whole section right here clear and uh, pretty much ready to go ahead and add a couple more beds. I'm gonna do the same kind as in the lava rock, only with P. I'm just gonna use those concrete trays Build a frame right here, put them right in, and uh, see if I can get a couple more beds going on and uh, some more food. All right, well, that's about all I got for this week. So, until next time, later.